It's my feel-good breakfast show. Oh, you can see the energy. It's already here. Why? Because this is the culinary hotline bling. Hey, hey, hey. And it's December, of course. We are feeling festive. It is time to do the following. It's time to share something special, especially the moments with our families around the table, indulging in all the delicious foods this time of the year, which is on offer. And let me tell you, we're going to be coming through with a lot. Now, festive foods don't need to cost a lot. And it doesn't need to take up too much time either. And Chef Clem is here to show us the easiest dessert or welcoming sweet treat for your guests this year. So, as always, if you have any, any culinary questions, join in on the discussion and send us your voice notes to our WhatsApp line. It's 063-408-8863 because myself and this very delicious, presentable, handsome Eloquent, man, and I'm also eloquent. eloquent is Thank ready you. to serve. How are you, bro? I'm so good. How are you doing? I'm lick. I'm excited. I'm feeling the feels now. Ah. It's official. I wasn't feeling it in November, that early rush, but now it is legit. I'm seeing all these subtle red nuances. Yes. Little shingles in the yes. background. Let's go, also, man. It's dangerous. It's like 11 o'clock at night, and you're like, ah, it's fine. I'm not going to bed. It's festive. Yeah. Ah, then you must wake up early in the morning for espresso. And here we are. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so the challenge is yes. few ingredients coming together to make one Christmas Is this cake. everything? This is sure everything that Gabby gave us. Are you sure? This is, I'm de she's like, this is all I'm giving you and I, I trust in you guys. So okay. I, I already have a theory, right? So what we've got to do is take the puff pastry and we've got to sandwich it with some Nutella. Ooh, yum. But okay. Sorry, I, I lied. First steps. I need to yeah. divide it somehow. Sandwich some Nutella in the middle, overlap. So you've got puff pastry, Nutella, puff pastry. Okay, okay. Then we're going to shape it. out the Christmas tree and do little twisty bits. Ah. Okay? In theory. In theory. <laughs> in theory. I love it. Okay, so Ra, how good are you at, like, housework? Uh, chores? Like, I mean, like, next level, like, next level, like, um, like DIY stuff. Oh, man, I'm, not, I'm okay. your guy. I'm your guy, bro. Okay, cool. I'm what, your guy. I've got a troll here in my pot. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> what do you mean, man? It's not I'm even here. cordless. That's the weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. No, that's on a... You know, Let's go in half as as accurately as possible. Okay, okay I'm cool. still living in the world of theory here. So here we go. The practical this is you. Carefully. This I need you like in, when you plaster. Oh, you know, oh bro, this is called screeding. This is what you do on top of plaster. You Next year, win a home yeah, around the on, morning. Bro, like, let's get with let's it. Go, right? Let's go. Let's go. Here? Let's go. Do top, it. Bottom, both. You know, I think I think one side. One side. All right. Watch that screed action. So it's all about the wrist. Is it? Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. You check that, bro. I love it. I love it. Nice and smooth. This is just like the concrete I work with, man. You win you work man with lab. concrete. My man lab. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I have this dream of having like a, a proper man cave, but okay. not like, like uh, you know, you get like foosball tables. And uh -huh. like, nah, I oh, just yeah. Okay, tools. what's in your man cave? I just want tools in my man cave and like lots of woodworking things and stuff and... I don't know, maybe a little TV there with like YouTube inspiration just to build more things and... I did not know this about yeah, you. Yeah, man, it's like what? one of my massive passions. Okay. That and, and, and decor, weirdly enough. You would never say, right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, man. No, that's it. amazing. Believe Honestly, it, I feel like we're okay. learning so much. <laughs> okay, talking about learning about people. So Africa at home, I want to know what's your one dish that you take to Christmas that's, that you're known for? Like every year come Christmas when you're rocking up the party, everyone knows what's in your hand already. What's that dish? And I really want to know, send us a voice on what's that magic number? Oh, uh, 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 what's up now? Like, yeah, what's up? Oh, seven three, oh, seven three four zero eight double eight six three. Yes. Jeez, man, you caught me off guard there. I was going to give up my own... Come in. I was going to give up my own... You was going to give up my you know own that, number now. You know that saying that men can't do two things at the same time? That's why I asked Raul. You I just, got, you just continue your screeting, bro. <laughs> what's, what's, what's up, Magic? What's up, number? 063-408-8863. So while you're here, yes. when your family's invited to Christmas, what's the one dish that everybody knows you're always going to come in with? Peppermint crisp tart. Oh, really? Yeah, I make a mean one. What? I just gotta go find the recipe first. <laughs> I made it a year ago. So I gotta try. Wow, well, when you made it that year ago, was it like a showstopper? Is I've it made it like... for the past like three years. Wow. Which is wow. amazing. So yeah, no, it's a thing. It's it's amazing. It okay. really is amazing. That sounds like a challenge. Oh, okay. no, no still, more challenges. We've still got, but not a, not a challenge. We've still got like two more hotlines for the year, I think. I would yeah. love to see our presenters like put together their signature Christmas dish. Ah. Sounds good. And everybody's a winner because it's the first season. Okay, okay. We, we can eat at the end. That sounds amazing. We're going to make I mean, that happen? You, yeah. Why not? We'll make that happen. Okay, but don't, don't forget, so Africa, I want to know from you still, what's your signature dish that like you make an appearance yeah. with every festive yeah, season? Have a, a signature dish, Oh, I absolutely way. do. Yeah, so there's two dishes that have to be on the table. So my, my older sister, um, she's really into chowder, but obviously you can't do it too hot, so I've got the special uh, recipe oh, of like a, chowder. a muscle yeah. chowder that's not too creamy. And then for Meg, Meg loves garlic prawns, and I'm talking about like 
just like make it spicy. You want to know there's garlic in there. Mm. And don't be shy, like six portions of prawns per person. No. Like <laughs> 12 <probably>. portions <laughs> per person. So those two <laughs> plus the fires outside, you know, it's all about being festive. So there's so many things happening. Wow. I Good feel job, like, Ryle. Good job. Ryle, good Thank morning. You guys. I will come to your man cave. Oh, I'll yes. come spend some time and I'll got a man sweet. cave crew growing on. <laughs> there we I go. love it. I love it. Okay, so here's, here's now the, th the theory is going to start coming. Yeah, I'm going to stick around for this one. Yes, I yes, see yes. This. Yeah, me too. Okay, cool. I'm still in the theory phase here. Can you see where I'm kind of going at the moment? No, that's no. fine. That's okay. <laughs> this, are you just cutting off the ends here? What's yeah, going so on? we now go oh, into... This is the, the Christmas tree making a pull apart. Yeah, yeah. But edible, edible Christmas, Christmas tree, bro. We're not going to waste bro. this. Okay. We're going to do something with it. You can't so, waste it. You can make like a, a sleigh or something maybe. I don't know. Something okay. Crazy. A sleigh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, we'll work on this for a sleigh. But now, when do we have a voice note? Someone's got something Ooh. they want... Someone coming through Somebody. right now. Somebody. Patricia, I believe, has come through with a voice. Everyone's getting crazy for this. Let's see what Patricia has to say. Good morning. Hi, this is Patricia from Pretoria. I would just like to know, if I had to make this a savory version, what would you suggest? I actually like that question. That's a good she question, to make Patricia. This a thank savory you. Version. Yeah, I, li I love that okay, question, because nice you question, can. Patricia, yeah. Because it's puff pastry, so essentially it's, that's neutral. I would go pesto, a little bit of parmesan, a little Ooh. bit of chocolate, sun-dried tomatoes, oh, because yeah. I'm thinking the green, the red, and the white, Christmas festive vibes. Yeah. And then Christmas all you do is one just lay it in between there. I think it needs to transfer to our tray first. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. How many men does it take to pull the Christmas tree? Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One to transfer, the other two to just watch. Oh, but no, but actually, no. You, no. Know, you know, one to watch this and is... the third one to eat it. This no, is, <laughs> yeah, this is you. Let's go. I'm a, I think oh, am I getting involved though? Okay, yeah. what are we doing? So what we're doing, we're taking the individual branches and yeah. giving it a twist. Oh, like, like... Yeah, just... Oh, like this. nice. There we go. I think, nice. I think we should have like, done an egg wash on it first, but hey, it's, it's, it's fair. Should we do it? No, 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 no. no. I'm to. loving what you do. Okay, 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 yes. Why not, man? One hand, one hand, one hand. It's the festive. We do yes. coffee. Oh, nice. Okay. Done. So you can give it a bit of a, what's Afrikaans? A klitz. A klitz. Klitz. Met what? Met, 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 <laughs> met, met itself. Met itself. <laughs> Afrikaans is <laughs> die boonste rakke. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. So you're doing that. Okay, okay, I like it. And the egg wash, all that does is gives it like a beautiful lacquer yeah. finish. Mm. Uh, no, no, not a lacquer, as in quite lacquer. A lacquer finish. A lacquer. A beautiful that lacquer like, with sheen. a Q. Excuse me? Is that spot with a Q? Lacqua. La la I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking you. Lacqua. Spelling's not my forte, bro. How do you spell lacquer? Lacquer. Careful. How do you spell lacquer? Double K E. No, but that's that's lacquer. And How do you spell lacquer? But lacquer, like when you paint with varnish. Oh, lacquer. I'm sure there's a Q in there. Yeah, and if there's is. a Q, then there's definitely a U. From, from what I remember in primary school. So <laughs> that's as far as it gets for me. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys can let us know. We don't know how to spell lacquer. If lacquer? we're doing this lacquer or not. What, what do I do with the with a top of the Christmas tree? That's what I was going to ask you. Oh, really? <laughs> what <do> you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'm clearly the experts here. No, okay, okay, so really. what if we did so like can a... I, can I do this? Are you going to make like a little... Sure, is yes. A, a star, maybe? It's it's a it's a star vibe, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I, I I think I did a good job here. I like that. And there's nice. the, there's the Christmas tree nice. topping. It's lovely, guys. It only took us ten minutes, and it only <laughs> took three grown men. But Gabby, I think we did a good job. We have to break oh, this you, off. You pulled this out of the realms of theory, and it has now <laughs> manifested into the real world. This is what it's about, bro. Come uh, on, I'm proud of us. Can we not festive? This this is yeah. amazing. It is amazing, that's, man. That's okay, okay. Year, let's put more credit Woo! to this. Give us a round of yes, applause. Man. Come yes, on, yes. that's amazing. Oh. Oh, I saw the nerve. Ooh. There was a little bit of bead of sweat, but you pulled through, bro. Yeah, we this. did. Listen, listen. We have another voice note. Uh, Michael came through with a voice note. Let's quickly oh, Mike, what's up? Good morning, um, Chef Clem and Raoul. This is Michael from Bloemfontein. I would love to have this dish as a main course, if possible. Um, and if I can use any dips with this, or do you recommend any cheeses that I can use with this? Ah, uh, like a main course. Oh, and I'm just so, so, yeah, like a massive one of these, and you could possibly clip off each branch. Dip it yeah. in like a spoon. Bro. Especially if, you, if you're thinking like you want to do like small plates fries for Christmas, which yeah. is really cool, yeah. but people tend to like gravitate outside. Mm. It's yeah. quite nice. So I would make like quite a few of these and then pair it with some of like Woolies dips and sides and like yeah. 
the Illumi out front, some Illumi on the side, and do like a whole Meze vibe, and just keep yeah. everybody like coming up, dishing yeah. small little plates. But yes, I would can make... You, can you do a protein option in there? Sure. Like, because oh, we're sure. talking a main dish, what would, uh -huh. you, what would you put as a, as a protein option? I was actually thinking, like, even if you bake that off, like I said earlier, with the pesto and yeah. the tomato... Yeah, like a savory option, yeah. And then when it comes out, do like a cream cheese and bultong smear, like mix it, mix it, mix it. Extra protein. That's nice. I don't know. And you can kind of get some extra cream cheese on there, like break it off, get some cream cheese. I'm trying to think if would you would you actually stuff it with well, some meat? Could, I was I was could, wondering, actually. what about some mints or something? Yeah. I, I would think rather do it like nacho style, and then you have your bowl of like whatever, let's call it shredded meat on the side, and then you could use the spoon and spoon that almost like a nacho essentially. Ooh, That's some pulled awesome pork. Cool. Some pulled yeah. pork on your Christmas tree. Yes, Whoa, man. Yes. This is Christmas on another level. Come Festive on. Has leveled up. I love this. This, this was a challenge. Yeah. And I feel like we've started a revolution right right here <laughs> with our edible Christmas tree. Honestly, and we'll work out what to do with that, but this goes into the oven, and very important at home, when you're baking puff pastry, it's always a 200 degree. Yeah, because it needs that heat. It, it needs that instant yeah. heat to the moisture inside. They can puff it up, you get that texture, and you'll see what this looks like when it comes out the oven in a little bit. Gabby, we, we've taken your challenge. Love it. We love, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Clem. Thank Send you. us your voice notes. Remember, that number is, while uh, 063408. Double eight six three. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got it. Listen, I'm more, from the, more from the culinary hotline coming up. We're going to take a very quick break. When we come back, we can also introduce you to the culture shock event. Yeah, yeah the flavors of Cape Town just kind of melting together. It's an incredible event. We're going to have awesome performances for you. And Tabiso explores one of my favorite parts of KZN Umschlanga. Oh. Mm. Yes, man. Lots yes, man. We jealous. love it. We'll fill you in all the deeds after the break. Stick around. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on S3. This is good, man. It's my feel-good show. Welcome back to the kitchen for another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, ding, ding! I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> so Gabby's in the kitchen with us. Can I please just say, first of all, Gabby, we took okay. your challenge, and I feel like we killed it. It's going to be amazing. I was watching. It looks okay. amazing. It's in the oven, so you're going to see it in a I little bit. Time. I am very proud of us. It only took three grown men. And it only took about 15 minutes. Well, You're going to really love happy. it. You're going to love it. <laughs> so thank you so much for that challenge. What are we going to be making in the second part? So today, or well, second part of your next challenge. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no. Okay. no more challenging. That's done. done. It's done. Um, so today is a really beautiful lentil salad. And what I love about it is it's vegan. It's also really high in protein, your plant protein. It's super easy to make. So that's what I, what I like about it. Did and you, Today yeah. in the background, our one resident vegan went, woo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Chadwin. Thank you, Chadwin. And um, what I've also done is I've used tin lentils to make everyone's life a bit easier because oh, nice. they are already okay. cooked. Which yeah, is, which absolutely. Is yeah. So, where, so do we, where do we begin? Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is obviously our lentils are already cooked. Mm -hmm. um, but I've also got here some walnuts. If you want to just roughly chop these up for me. Sure thing. And then a tip what I would also say is if you have time, is I quite like to actually fry off the, the walnuts just for like a minute. Oh. A bit of olive oil. Yeah. Just to get a little bit of a crunch. You can keep them raw though if you just don't feel like the whole cooking vibe because it's a salad. But... I do quite like to yeah, fry them off a little bit. I'd say at home, if you're making this, just toast your walnuts. You yeah, get so much, much more nicer. flavor out of it and texture. Yeah. So I will start doing that. Thank you. Oh, wait. Apparently our tree is ready in the oven. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Go fetch, go fetch, fetch. Let's go. Let's. Oh, my gosh. That looks amazing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Look, Raul and Ewan, I think we did a... That looks beautiful. Oh, very good. That's that's a Christmas Jeez, tree, right? Guys, I'm very impressed. And look at well our little done. star. Look at Ewan's little twists. Raoul's perfect layering. Hi, guys, guys come in. Guys, I was smelling, so I was smelling something impressed. delicious here. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's look at this. That is guys. impressive. Well I mean, I'm impressed. Really? You did all the little things. That's uh, amazing. Oh, it smells so I, good. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to turn out this good, man. I thought it was going to look like a kind of like, it looks like a tree. That is legit. Yeah, pull it apart. Whoa. It's beautiful. It's well done, well done guys. Th thank you. Oh, thank you. I would yes. give this to you, but it's hot, so I'll give it to you a little later. <laughs> give a pause, okay. man. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. Can we, can we get a hand for our Christmas tree? Yeah, awesome. Come on. Thank you to the three people that cl clapped for us. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Okay, bye. Thank you so much, guys. OK, so back into the game. Wait, before we start cooking, we've got some comments. OK, let's go. We've got a comment from Dawn Anderson. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... It's, it's a far away. Good morning, precious Expresso family. And Chef Clem, I would like to know how... I'd like to know more about...
how you make aspect jelly and some turkey and chicken stuffing recipes, please. Thank you. I may not get to see and hear you now because we are in load shedding. Hey, YouTube, which is amazing. So at the end of the show, you can go back to YouTube when the power comes back on, watch the whole show. Now back to your question about the aspect jelly. Can I take this one? Please, please okay. do. So <laughs> I'm a huge, huge fan of, um, uh, Gabby's a vegetarian, but you can yeah, do like, this. Don't ask me so about Gabby, Gabby's stuff, right? dad and I actually, <laughs> every, every year we do this tradition where we have what is a, um, a pork trotter, yes. yeah, and then we, we will actually debone it and then stuff it. And there's the natural gelatine that's inside the pork trotter actually sets it like a jelly. So you'll find natural gelatine in things like chicken, like beef, certain cu cuts of cartilage that's in there, lamb, and especially pork. So I would go ahead and just use a natural aspect that's in the actual animal protein yeah. itself to use it and then, but if you really are stuck for for a lack of gelatine add gelatine to it to kind of set it then for stuffing what i really like is a woolly salsa stuffing spice mix oh. so if you want to mix that for and here's what, what i love about it if you want to mix it with chicken it's great and you get like a chicken stuffing if you want to mix it with um, turkey as well you can do that just mix it with the same stuffing with the breadcrumbs and the turkey, but what I love is if you're vegetarian, you can mix it with breadcrumbs and mushrooms, chopped oh, up mushrooms, yeah. so you I get like a that. mushroom stuffing. So use the stuffing kits and then add whatever to it that you want to add. Oh, imagine making like a stuffing arancini. A stuffing oh, arancini. Oh, my hat. That sounds to absolutely amazing. And that. I'm also very impressed that you want to make something using aspect jelly to set, to set like a terrine. It's my favorite, it's absolutely my favorite. Now. I want to go back to cooking, but we have some voice notes. Okay, let's listen to the one voice note before we go back to cooking. Let's get that ready. Good morning, Chef. Uh, this is Rinesh. I'm calling you all the way from Tonga. I want you to find out, besides the authentic uh, turkey and um, ham and gammon, what else would be preferable for the Christmas luncheon or dinner? Thanks. I'm pretty sure he said besides ham and gammon, what else would be more acceptable? Yes. 100% lamb. As South Africans, we love lamb, and we'll have, like, lamb neck all the way to, to lamb shoulder, down to the lamb rack, down to the leg of lamb. South Africans love lamb, and I feel it's because the quality of lamb is just so, so amazing, yeah. and it finds its way on tables when it comes to Easter and to Christmas. So yeah. definitely play around with lamb, and not just your leg of lamb cut, Lamb neck is my favorite at the moment. Yes. It's so buttery, so tender, so delicious. So play around with lamb. I think that's a great one. So Africans, we aren't really big on turkey. Yeah. But if you can find, and I'm trying to remember what the word is, uh, a chicken that's a little older, like it's, 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 it's had a longer life, so the chicken's naturally bigger. Yes. So much more chicken flavor, and that's really great as well. So play around with that. I love all the voice notes. And the questions. Gabby, I forgot to even check, it, check it on you. What's happening? Where are we? No, that's fine. So what I've done is I've, che I've chopped up the walnuts. You chopped up gonna... the walnuts you asked me to chop? I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. No, no. So these are very important questions. So I'm just going to add that to the lentils here. And can I ask you just to add a little bit of olive oil? That. Please. I can do. I would really appreciate that. So I do like the salad because I feel like during the festive season, <laughs> there's no set time for what, for what time lunch is or no. brunches or dinner. You kind of just graze throughout the day. Yeah. And if you've got something that's healthier, that you can graze on. Yeah. Great. Because you don't always feel like going back for another piece of gammon or another piece of meat. Sometimes yeah. you just want something that's light but still, still substantial. No, I agree with you. That's the thing is like for me, like I, I like to, like how we like to eat, we like to pick. Mm. You know, having all different little things. So this whole like plate of food. Like I would be quite happy with a good old cheese board, hey? All little bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, basically, and then here's a, what I've done is already is I've chopped up some peppers. And I've got also, I only put a little bit of salt in just because we have olives in this as well. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, what you can do for me, can you roughly chop the rocket for me? Okay. Um, and then I'm going to chop the cucumber also quite finely. And just a little tip what I like to do, I'm just going to open this drawer here. So Go for the spoon, it. Um, is I like, quite like to, which I actually learned at work, was actually take out your center of your cucumber and then chop it because this is, is, quite, this is quite watery. It often will cause things to get soggy. So we often do that. We will. You know, take out this little just inner with a spoon. Yeah, because that releases all that moisture, yeah. it becomes soggy. So you just get that crunchy cucumber without yeah. the... Shame, especially if you're, like, packing lunchboxes and... Okay, also lovely that you're packing someone's lunchbox. Yeah. But if you're putting cucumber in and you're leaving that bit in, the sandwich tends to go quite... Yeah. ...soggy. Which, yeah. yeah, so take out the centre. Yeah, absolutely. We've got another voice note. Let's listen to this one. I just... 
My name is Akwande. I just wanted to ask for the ingredients of the Christmas tree. Thank you for asking, because I can, I can bring it back again. This beautiful Christmas tree that you're speaking of, this one over here, this award-winning Christmas tree. <laughs> First of all, go and find the recipe on espressoshow.com because they've actually typed it out and put it up there for you now. So very simple. It's actually three ingredients if you don't count the egg. It's puff pastry, and then it's Nutella that we spread in the middle, and then we brush the egg over the top. You don't have to brush the top with egg. It just gives it a beautiful finish. But essentially, it's two ingredients, puff pastry and Nutella. And I'm thinking about it now. You can replace that with cashew nut butter. Oh, you could totally make this vegan. Butter. I know, like, at, at Woody's, they do the vegan puff pastry. No. You could do then a, you know, chocolate spread that's, like you said, nut-based yeah. or whatever. And then, um, and then if you just don't leave the egg out, and then I would also just do a little dusting of icing sugar no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. of course, because it's Christmas. You've got to have a little bit of snow in the Christmas tree. Yeah. Okay, so, Gabby, we're going to put this together. Let's just go through very quickly how it's going to come together. Okay, so literally, this is the easiest part. Mm -hmm. we're gonna you're going to chop up that rocket for me. We're going to toss everything together. Toss, 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 put it in our bowl. And then all I make is a very quick tahini dressing, which takes all of two seconds. Okay, so we're going to start assembling. We're going to work on that dressing. Oh, let's actually just do it now quickly. Okay, cool. Let's do so this. Now, yeah, They've so given us a challenge. What were the challenges today? They're like, can you guys do it? Ooh. In 20 seconds. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Here we go. Okay, so is... the ch chop the... Because um, everything's going to be tossed. Well, so you wanna... Yeah, so yeah. finely chopped. So, I mean, I'm just going to actually start... Um, I'm going to just start putting some of this in this bowl. Cool. Um, and... Is it, uh, like, so, with, when, usually when I chop herbs, and I consider rocket, like, herby... Yes. I would normally soak it in ice water first, get yes. it nice and crispy, and then chop. You'll see it doesn't bruise as easily as... It just yes. did right now. Yo, Natasha Benningfield. Don't bruise easily. Soak your herbs in ice water first, okay? <laughs> remember that. That's actually a good thing. When you're about to chop herbs, just, just remember Natasha Benningfield. Claim said put it in ice first. So it makes such a huge difference. Okay, can it go in the bowl? <laughs> yes, please. And then literally what you can do for me is you can just stir all of that together. I'm also just getting my olives ready, which will literally be tossed. So you literally just toss everything together. Everything, okay. And then once you've done that, you can literally just add those olives in. And then the tahini dressing, super simple. I've got some raw tahini here, tahini paste. I'm going to add this into my jug. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And just basically, you add water until you're happy with your consistency. It's looking good. It's looking festive. It's looking delicious. We're going to work on that dressing. And when we come back later, we'll dress the salad and reveal our beautiful Christmas tree again. We're going to reveal it every hour on the hour, plus the beautiful salad. It's been the Culinary Hotline Blue!